Every year, thousands of animals from the Sahel cross the borders of coastal countries where they remain for the dry season, accessing rangelands, crop residues and surface water. These regular crossings of pastoralists and their herds compensate for shortfalls in coastal countries' livestock markets, but cause many tensions in the territories crossed, for instance, between Burkina Faso and Togo. These tensions have significant socio-economic impacts and pose challenges to the regional integration. To think about ways to ensure peaceful transhumans, it seems relevant to embrace these conflicting themes within a broader approach. Rather than talk about transhumans and its effects, we will talk first about the territory and then about the place of transhumans in this territory. This film presents a way of thinking about the issue of cross-border transhumans by mobilizing a reflection on the future, territorial foresight. Territorial foresight is a method of anticipation which involves exploring the futures of a territory to cope with change. It assumes that the future is not written and that it could take very different forms. The purpose of territorial foresight is to enable local actors to imagine different futures for their territory and to understand how and why these futures may occur. To begin with, a panel of local participants is selected. It is made up of people with in-depth and diverse knowledge in order to cover all the dimensions related to the issue at stake concerning the future of the territory. First, a diagnosis of the territory is carried out through document reviews, surveys and field interviews. Participants then determine the issue at stake and choose the targeted time horizon and the main themes to be addressed. Then they discuss, enrich and validate the diagnosis. In the case of the Togo-Burkina Faso cross-border territory, participants choose 2035 as the time horizon and these two main questions. What could be the futures of the border territory between Togo and Burkina in 2035? What could then be the roles and functions of pastoralism in these futures? To do this, we must first identify the factors which drive territorial change. These factors correspond to forces potentially influencing the evolution of the territory and on which the actors of the territory can act directly. These include local governance, education, ecological awareness, population growth, traditions, livestock models, and many more. Participants then compare all these factors of change one by one to determine which are the most influential. In this way, they identify and prioritize the driving forces, which are at the origin of the main transformations of the territory. A change in one of these driving forces leads to significant changes throughout the system. For each of the identified driving forces, participants envisage different states in the future. These are called the states of the future. For example, the driving force state of natural spaces will have as plausible states of the future lush natural spaces, desert natural spaces, degraded natural spaces, or artificialized natural spaces. Participants then obtain a morphological table which lists all the future states of the driving forces. The next step is the co-construction of the scenario frames. A frame is a coherent combination of compatible states of the future. Once validated, these scenarios are then developed into complete narratives in which participants incorporate all other factors of change. To answer the question of the place of transhumans in the territory, the transhumans variable is finally integrated. Thus, in these stories of the future, participants add the forms of transhumans that could exist and the roles and functions they could have in the functioning of the territory in 2035. 
These stories of the future enrich our understanding of the situation of transhumans in the present time. They can then be used to fuel debates about the future of the territory and to inform decisions to be taken in the present time, taking into account uncertainties. They can be used to support a collective reflection on the conditions leading to any of these futures and thus help identifying how to prevent or, on the contrary, promote their realization. Oh,